okay, the portal um, that I've mentioned, this is a, is a what's on um, information service and integrated ticketing service. What, it is quite innovative um, in that it works with existing ticketing systems, so it aggregates content automatically from ticketing systems. Um, plus it pulls in museums and galleries where it's free admission uh, information at the moment manually, but we hope to automate that. Um, and then we optimise that content. Now, ultimately, this service is not for a regular informed arts and culture goer. So we're looking at um, residents from Greater Manchester with less engagement with arts and culture. So optimisation at that level means that we are simplifying a lot of the copy, uh, we're removing jargon, art speak, and we're making it very attractive. Um, it's also for a tourist, a visitor to the city, so again it needs to be uh, simple, relevant, and for that market, often time is quite important, um, what's on this weekend. Um, so we optimise that content, we add rich content, whether that be embedded video, um, facilities information is really important. Um, and so we've created the data bank of all that information. The portal then distributes it, and the two outlets are one, a resident-facing portal website called gosethis.com. Um, again, based on that notion of word of mouth recommendation, we want it to be a trusted advisory brand. Um, so for residents who are not familiar with arts and culture, um, once they start giving us some information about preferences and their interests, the, the gosethis.com will recommend appropriate events and activities to them. Um, and there's different ways of searching and filtering the information to find out what's useful. For them. The information is also um, dynamically shared with uh, visitmanchester.com. So the same principle, visitors to the city either in advance or once they're here, looking for um, something to do, something different, um, uh, activity. Um, this will serve up, this will be a way of quickly finding out that information, whether it's been time limited needs or for people looking to do something unusual and different. We know that visitors aren't necessarily, are, are equally looking for experiences unique to a, a destination. So what's important about the portal is that it equally represents the niche, the unusual, alongside the very high profile big venues uh, and companies. So we've created this, it's just launched. Um, there is a team who are managing and optimising that content uh, and what we're looking to do now obviously is we, we're driving traffic to that site, uh, driving traffic to visitmanchester.com, it gets one million visitors a year visitmanchester.com and the third most visited page is arts and culture after a combination of home page. So we're hoping that portal will cap the portal will be able to capture some of that interest, that labour market and turn it into bookings and admissions. Um, so that, that's the portal in essence, so we're looking for this to be, um, it's about additionality, reaching out to new markets, additional markets for arts and culture. And our next job is to deepen the content on that, um, more arts and culture on their heritage festivals, um, and look for more distribution outlets on the other portal sites we can be feeding this information and booking functionality.